Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. And boy, you tuned in on a good day today because we're going to look at 126 and 127 today. And 126 is power-packed, baby. I mean, to tell you, oh, this is such a good one. Um, It's exciting to read it. It's exciting to imagine, you know, the this courtroom scene where the servant's standing before the master and he's making his request and Perhaps the oppressor is, you know, there somewhere. He's doing his thing, whatever that might be, sneering or joking or, you know, mocking whatever the oppressor is doing. The proud man there who's oppressing him. Maybe he's outside. Maybe it's just the servant and the master. But this this kind of request is just so earth-shaking for us. Um, I want you to listen as I read today verse 126 and 127, these, these two verses. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Now, I'm just going to stop right there, because that's the one that just blows me away. Listen to that request. Now, again, imagine the servant standing before the master, the master seated in his chair, the servant standing there at his foot, and he's saying, you know, I've done judgment and justice. Don't leave me to the oppressor. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy. But I've got other things that are going on too because I don't know. I, you need to teach me your statutes. Give me understanding that I might know your testimonies. You hear these requ- this request is just pouring out of this man. And then he looks up at the master and he says, it's time for you to work. Now, we get a clue here, don't we, as to who the master is there in verse 26. It is time for thee, Lord. (laughs) It is time for thee, Lord, to work. And we know who he's talking to now, don't we? Yeah, the servant before the master, but suddenly now we've been caught up in this imagery, but now we know he's, this is a prayer. He's praying to the God of heaven. Oh, Lord God of hosts, you know, it's time for you to work. What a bold request. Listen to that. It's time for you to work. Get to work. Oh, hey, friend, this is this is bold. It's confident. It's it's beautiful the the audacity to stand there at the foot of the throne and say it's time for you, Lord, to work. Yeah, that's a good one. What a great way for him to end this request. And he does. This is the last one. This is it. You know, he ends with a bang. And that word work, I mentioned that earlier, I think in the preview on uh, Monday, that this is another one of those iron words. And so it's it's a very appropriate for it to be here in this section. It's time for you, Lord, to work. Well, you know what? The Lord's going to keep his own timing. <laughs> he doesn't need us to tell us when it's time to work. But the thing I love about that is the passion. You know, the passion of the servant. He hasn't given up. He hasn't said, well, you're not doing nothing, so I'm just not going to pray. No, he keeps praying, and he says, it's time for you to work. Now, the Lord knows when it's time for him to work and when it's not. He'll keep his own mind on what time it is. It's not for us to tell him that, but it is for us to come to him passionately like this and say, Lord, this is what's going on. You know, let's get going here. It's time for you to do something about this. For they, and notice he brings back in here, the oppressor, they have made void thy law. So the oppressor, the proud man, is not just oppressing the servant, but he's oppressing the law by making it void in his own life. Now, you can't make void the law of God, right? Again, just like you can't tell God what time it is and what time to keep. No, you can't make void the law of God. God said it. It's the commandment, and it, that's it. There's no, there's no ins or outs about that. It's set firmly established in the heavens. It's not going to change. So he says they've made it void, that is, in their own lives. They've ignored it and that kind of thing. They've made it vain for themselves. And the, the psalmist is praying, it's time to do something, because these people have not just violated me, they've violated you. All right, join me tomorrow 
I know I didn't get to 127 today. I'll pick that up tomorrow. We'll do 127 to 128 tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.